it looks like I cannot hear. Let's see if that is better. Okay, that seems better. Okay, how are we doing today? Thank you so much for joining us. I appreciate you all being here. I'm just getting everything ready on my screen and then I will come in and change over where the camera is. Okay, and I can see, good morning everyone, how's it all going? Um, I'm so happy to be back in my, um, in my house, in my studio. Um, it's been a long two weeks away, but it's been fabulous as well. And I can see we've got um, Janet, Severson Thomas, good morning. We've got Lorraine Schweiss. We've got Christine Delamore. Thank you all so much for joining us. Um, as always, I am Julie Hall. And today we are going to honour those that we know who have gone through breast cancer. So it's October. It's Breast Cancer Month. I didn't want to do the standard pink ribbon. There's millions of those around. Um, and I always want to take a little bit of a fun, I guess, look at things. So I've created this wall hanging that um, is all about friendship. And realistically, when you're going through something like this, that is exactly what you need. So my mother went through um, breast cancer. She had a double mastectomy back in I think 17 or 18 um, and my daughters and I who are my daughters are now 16 and a half ish um, we will be sitting down tonight because my husband and son are going out and we will be discussing breast checking and confirming that they know what to do and how often that they should do it um, the more we can stop this um, you know, affecting the women in our lives, the absolute better, I'm thinking. And I can see Michelle Reynolds is with us as well. Good morning, Michelle. And I'm just going to come over and... Ah, oh, yay, don't you love it when things work? Okay. So what I want to show you is what I have created. So you will see that there and why is it that whatever you want is never quite there so you what you will see is that i've loaded up onto the website all of these designs but broken down into the five by seven hoop and that's important simply because it allows any of us to create this project. And some of us have never tried um, multiple hoopings before. So this is also a great thing for that. And what I'm going to show you, and every software is slightly different, um, but I want to show you through the Genomi software how you can come through and create that um, that larger layout yourself. And I'm just going, and I had all of this set up and then I had to reset my computer. And once I reset my computer, it was like five minutes till we had to start. So I was then absolutely panicking. But I want to go through my Horizon Link software and what you will have on that front page, if you go back to the start page, oops, if I go through to the start page, I have layout mode and the layout mode allows me to come through and make larger design layouts and I'm going to choose because I've already done this once today 
um, bra layout file. And you can see here, I've got 12 different designs laid out. And we've got Gay Howe here as well this morning. Good morning, Gay. Um, so you can decide how many pieces of paper up to three by three. So I didn't need that many. I only needed um, four pieces of paper to lay my designs out. The only thing I don't like about this software is it doesn't allow you to pull those designs down or it doesn't take from the bottom, it takes from the top. But you can come through and lay out a design so that no matter what size hoop you've got and you can see here that I'm just manipulating you can also move those designs around And you can create the design that works for you. So you might not want some of these um, sayings in it. You might just want, and I'm going to try and select, oops, Control Z is always a wonderful thing. So you might want your design to be a little bit different and I'm going to rotate this around and I can see we've got Lisa Callum and Vida McConnell and Anne Morgan Coleman from New Hampshire. I understand it's getting a little cooler there. So you need to work out um, the way to do it in your software, but the features of all the software is there and you can create that design larger no matter what hoop you are using. So that's that was sort of the main thing that I wanted to show because we found during the Brisbane Craft and Quilt Fair that I was just at. Um, we found so many people coming up to us and telling us how they, you know, and almost apologetically, oh, I'm so sorry, I don't have that hoop size. You don't need that hoop size. You know, maybe eight out of 10 times these days, either the designs will come in a smaller size or you can use your software to create templates and what I'm looking at here if I then come through and say to come through and print preview see how it's printed out my template and I would change that because I need so I'm going to go into setup and that's where you change your letter size. But the most important thing that I want is to choose a color template. So I'm going to come through and then I've got my hoop markings for each section. And I can print that out on tracing paper or vellum and that will create my template. So that's the layout part that I wanted to show you. What I've done, and you guys know I drive the Janome 15,000 at the moment till I can work out how to get my hands on the 17. Uh, Tracy, Tracy's watching. Tracy, thank you for joining us. Um, and let me come through. Okay. Now I've got to work out because I have to move the microphone around with me these days. So 
what we've got here is I've stitched out the first half of the design. If I show you here. And then I've printed my template and I've just printed it on plain paper for the second half. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that template to come through and match up where I want that design to go. Um, so even when you are using a large hoop, your templates really can help. And all I've done when I did the first design was draw a faint chalk line um, down the center so I had a center point to marry up to. Now I have okay oh, that going on the back. I know someone's making some comment over there but I cannot see it at the moment so give me a couple of seconds. Okay so what we have is our design lined up at that center row but you can see how out of alignment this is going to be. So it's about a quarter of an inch out. So what I'm going to do is come over and on my machine it is, oops wrong way Jewel, this button over here to match up where I want that design to start. And it moves just an infinitesimal amount, but, okay, so I'm happy where that is. And we're going to stitch the second half of our design. Oh, Lisa, thank you. The bra is gorgeous. And the reason I did the bra so cute is because I will never, ever, ever wear a bra that cute. Because that's the joy of big boobs. Okay. So now we are ready to stitch. And the first thing we're going to stitch is the bra. This is one of those ones that I don't want to really do a color sort on simply because um, it could unalign, if that's a word, um, the layering on the bra. And I'm just trying to decide what colour I'm going to make out of. I've got all the colours for the lettering. I just haven't picked out colours for the bra itself. Might have to go with the basic thing. So what's everybody else been up to in the last two weeks? I feel like it's been yonks since I've spoken to everybody. Yeah, <laughs> Leanne Mail, thank you so much. <clears throat> Now, for those of you who love a good laugh at somebody else's expense, um, I will tell you a story of whilst I was away. I, it, we'd come home from the first day of the show and I had had a shower, put on my PJs. So, you know, wasn't wearing full underwear. Um, then I was doing some paperwork and I had one of those folders that's got almost like a box so it closes down well that's fine but I'm in the large boob category and I got my boob caught in the box it was not funny 
But, you know, when hubby's saying, um, well, now you should feel better for when men get their, um, get their bits caught in flies and everything. That's funny. Don't know what he's talking about. Michelle's travelling. She was with me. She needs the recovery. Oh, Lorraine, you're travelling around Queensland. See, you had me there with Keanu. I, I'm thinking, oh my God, she's with Keanu Reeves. Suddenly, you're my best friend, Louise, uh, Lorraine, and I'm, um, and I'm, you know, coming to see you. But okay, Keanu Tenkin Bowling. Wow. I didn't even know that was a thing, but I hope you have a wonderful time. So whilst we're starting the stitching, let me show you the last couple of weeks of the you do use because they were kind of automatic with um let me make sure that's going to come up okay because of my traveling so the first thing we did was the coffee and lipstick and this one was fantastic to take on the cruise i emptied all my crap out of it this morning though. And I put all of my like, medications into this zipper pouch that is still a part of the design. So it's like a little hidden bag within the bag. And then my hairbrushes, everything else can go in this and I know everything is safe. So loving that one and the video is up there. And of course the designs have been sent for the updates to that. The second one I did was the little doggy doo doo bag carrier. And this one was just so fun and easy. Um, and yeah, the little bag just comes out the bag. Um, but now I need to think about what I'm going to do this week. So if any of you have any suggestions, please do let me know. Ah, Vine is asking why am I not using the auto threader? Absolutely, because it's broken. Um, I know I need to get it fixed, but I also know that this machine is going back to Janome as soon as the boss and I can get together for a couple of days so that they can train me on the 17th. And speaking of that, I must send that email this afternoon because wouldn't it be terrible to miss out on getting the 17? So yes, the upshot of that is that I am self-threading at the present time. Hence why I had to get um, multifocal lenses. Now these were digitized probably around about seven years ago. And each year I've been meaning to do this up for breast cancer. Like <clears throat> I don't think there is a single one of us who hasn't had a friend or a family member touched by breast cancer. Um, I mean, I met, I met somebody, I can't ever remember where now. My mum was really lucky. They gave her the double mastectomy immediately. Oh, I met her at the cancer clinic when I was there getting my last set of tests done. This woman had had a mastectomy four years ago, a half, like a partial, so just one boob. They wouldn't take the two of them, no matter how much she begged. And then five years later, she's there to have the second one off because breast cancer's shown up in it. Um, and I just really felt for that woman. That was 
that was just one of those ones that just sticks in the mind um and look mum and i had so much fun when um after she'd had her boobs off when we went shopping for new boobs um we we really made it into a fun day and the people like the brass shop that very specifically did the um like the chicken fillets for mastectomy people they were so lovely um you know she was trying on different size boobs to see what worked best and and it will it will always be one of those things that i remember as a great day coming out um like there are and it's the same with every brand so it doesn't matter what brand you're into when they bring out a new model they have like there's always a rush of second hand models out there because people are um are wanting to sell off their old machine the other thing that we were stupefied by at the show was they were putting out um, like this gorgeous MC seventeen thousand, the um, you know twenty, what did you say twenty three thousand? I think it is in Australia, thousand dollar machine for um, the ex demos after doing a class at the show was. Um, 15,000 and I checked on Sunday afternoon they sold every single one of those machines which I just thought was brilliant but no we had our six um, 550e's there and we had the ability to do and we booked in 60 class well, well we had the ability to book in 60 classes we ended up with about 54 so we were full on um doing the continuous edge to edge quilting and what it's shown me is that next year one of our so we'll do a we'll do a block of the month and i've got beautiful um we're going to do lovely the candlewick quilt as our block of the month next year um but we are also going to do a um in continuous quilting technique of the month and i'll so this was the technique that we did at the show and I can probably bring it over a little bit closer so you can see. And it was that continuous edge to edge quilting. What I want to do is come through and now my threads. Okay, that just hasn't picked up there. Um, so what I want to do, and this is just me being, if I was at, um, if I wasn't on a live. I just pull that through but it's just being a little bit picky there so I'm just going to start a new bobbin um, so we're going to do a different technique and I'm going to show you how to do sashing with continuous quilting how to do all of those different um, techniques that we need to really get the most out of our machine Oh, Leanne, your so Leanne Mail um, is a survivor. Eight years 
a go. Fantastic. So you passed the um, the five year mark, um, and and that's it. There are so many wonderful, wonderful people out there. Um, and you know, even for me with the leukemia, it's the um, the people in like the nurses and the and the staff in there. They were all so good. Um, but uh, okay, so Joanne Sorak saying. Oh yes, the candle wick is absolutely stunning. I'll see if I can find a picture. Although I will say the picture doesn't give credit. So give me two seconds while you watch that and I'll actually go and grab the quilt. unpack my car last night because he needs to be out this morning apparently um, picking up something for the girl who doesn't talk to me so you're not girlfriend um, And look, think of the other ways that you could use this as well, like, um, you know, lingerie bags. Just use the brown design. So I haven't been up to anything else for a couple of weeks. Um, so this week's all about sort of getting back into the swing of things and everything for me. Now the way that I've given the bra um, definition and made it actually look like a bra um, and make it look a little bit 3D is through the way the stitches are formed. So they've all formed at different angles to give it that look and what that means is that it does take longer to stitch out but what you get out of it is also nicer as well and So 
So then this afternoon, I get to come through and look for what else I'm going to do this week and what's inspiring me. So have you all been downloading the Candlewick alphabet? I will be starting to delete some of the first designs this week. So if you haven't done that already, please do. And when I say the Candlewick alphabet, I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. So on our website, if you come through and look at free designs, oh that's bad, the letters have formed the word gun. So we're giving one a day away and look there were issues, I did it that it started as soon as I hopped on the cruise ship and that was bad because it left um, cruise ship left I didn't have good enough internet and we found out that there was an issue with the designs downloading and scarily enough it was three or four pieces of code it was the um, arrow slash p which is for paragraph encoding that was all that was stuffing it up. Okay, so Lorraine, um, get the first couple today so that you do not miss out um, because I will start deleting um, the first ones that we've done. We said they were only going to be there for a couple of days, but we have left them up there that little bit longer. And then we'll do the other side of our bra. Isn't it funny, the things that we see that sort of inspire then something different. So I'm thinking this week's You Do You might be, and I'm just going to find my inspiration here. I'm, I'm kind of liking the idea of the little, you know, snap fold over into the zipper piece as well. So that might be one that we do this week. So Voyage of the Damned wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. This was a cruise with um, my two daughters, one of my daughter's friends, my 78 year old father and three troublesome nieces. Um, it wasn't like, you know, great would have been, you know, if I was on a holiday with my hubby. So it wasn't great, but it wasn't as bad as I thought it was either, as I thought it would be. So the only real trouble came when we had the nearly 14 year old caught vaping um, and that was after she promised me that she didn't have anything vaping in her you know with her or yada 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 so and she wasn't very happy that I was upset at that can't understand them um, but other than that it was it was reasonable but I've discovered I'm not a cruise ship person. There are, there are some people who love that way of holidaying. I don't think I'm that person. Ah, Christine, yes. 
So Christine hasn't done anything for months because she has cancer. Um, and there are lots of different cancers out there. Um, and, and that's it. Like, it's, it's, it's really funny looking back on the last sort of 12, 18 months. I thought I was doing so well. And I really, really wasn't. I was just, you know, surviving sort of thing. Um, and that's, that's absolutely fine. Like, you know, I love the fact that I can cook dinner for my family again now. Um, but it really is so much about having the support of your loved ones around. Um, and it's why I really wanted to focus on this. It's, it's something so minor. Um, but friendship um, and having a laugh is what it's all about to me. Ah, oh, Lisa's got her daughter home sick. Oh, yuck. You can keep that. Although that my daughters tell me that they've got Friday off for another teacher planning meeting. So not too thrilled about that one either. So how are we doing on our Christmas lists? <laughs> and let me scare you, there was nine Fridays till Christmas. Um, last week I saw days until Christmas. 68 days. That scare the crap out of you? <laughs> um, and the worst thing was I actually thought about something that would make a great... Christmas gift that you could stitch and now I've totally forgotten about it. I'm thinking given the age of my um like the people in my life, I'm thinking it's going to be the notebook covers. Um, with the zippered pouch. I think that's kind of a nice, um, you know, I just want something small sort of thing. I can do them for both boys and girls. Yes, Michelle, the Christmas tree was incredibly popular. The little Aussie animals. Um, it was, and I will, the other thing I need to do this week is come through and do all of our, um, do like the classes for the rest of the year. And the Aussie Christmas animals will absolutely be one of those and I'll show you how I've done the lights etc um, so Joanne Stoddard saying she'd love a binder to put the binder clips into oh, and then the bag hardware yes well yes keep an eye um, keep an eye out I've kind of got an idea on what we could do for that that's not a bad idea, Joanne. Um, and Mad 14 Carrot is asking, is my machine at its highest speed? Um, no, it's not. The highest speed on this one is, I think, a thousand. Let's see. Oh, journey 15. Is a thousand stitches a minute. Mine is at 700. And that's just because it's stitching really well and I want to make this a little bit quicker. Um, not at all. So I'm getting away 
with 700. And you guys know, generally, I recommend... Um, about 500 stitches. So, you can see it's that way the stitches are being formed really do give it that 3D sort of effect. And I did this couple of, or oh, look, it would probably be 10 years ago. Um, for my mother-in-law, instead of, this was when she was um, still able to live on her own and she'd go to a crafting class each week. So for her birthday present, I made her um, 10 of these as wall hangings so that she could give them to her friends and that was so my gift my birthday gift to her was something that she was then able to pass on to her friends um and and it worked really well for us i did that for a couple of years and i did the same thing for my mum because i don't know about you guys but we get to a point where we don't need anything ourselves it's just about um, it really is just about finding, you know, something to show how much we love the people in our life. Oh, and Morgan Coleman, I know that bra is so cute. And I am thinking that it might be, instead of doing black, I'm thinking of using this teal as the contrast colour. I got home at about half past seven last night and I walk in the door and you know, it's all it's all lovely. It's you know, hubby comes out. He was cooking dinner, um, gives me a kiss and a hug. All beautiful. All of my children are in their bedrooms or whatever. So I'd you know, done the important things, gone to the loo, um, and came out and just stood in the hallway. Children who haven't seen a parent or who haven't seen a mother for more than a week. How you doing? Teenagers are just the worst. And I'm using up a whole lot of, um, from mum's stash, from cleaning out mum's house. Um, she had purchased like all these different Guterman threads. So I'm never quite sure how they're gonna work. But I will say, so far they've been going fine. Um, But we stitched with Wonderfield's Fabulux embroidery range, and they were all multi-tonal. And some of the colours that were coming out 
in the designs were in the quilting designs at um at the Brisbane show were just amazing. I'm going to have to because we are going to start stocking the Fabulux range. Uh, Lisa Callum keeps on dropping out. I'm sorry, darling. And let me find if I can see, because somebody did a beautiful, um, and it was the girls from um, the, um, Kylie from Voodoo Rabbit. She came and did our class. And here we go, I'll show you. So you can see here, and it looks like the strangest um, colored fabric, but this is the photos that she posted of it. Um, so it was purples and greens and oranges. And I think it was called Boo. Um, but the, the threads just came up magnificent and I will be stocking in the new year a range of the Fabulux threads. Oh, that's pretty. And I don't want really, and it, it looks a little bit less trampy um, in blue rather than black. very concerned about children today though I get home and like you know hubby and I are talking and I was talking about um, Angela Lansbury passing away and you know the one was 96 I think that's absolutely appropriate um, and daughter sits there oh, when did this happen when did like you know and we do watch the news we you know trying to get kids interested in anything like that these days is just absolutely impossible. I guess I guess maybe I was a bit the same way although I started watching the news again when I was in business college and studying shorthand and we were encouraged to watch the news each night and attempt to um, to write as they were reporting the stories because news readers are very good at, at, um, at fast speaking but eloquently speaking so that was kind of our homework each night and I guess I kind of just I, I don't always watch the news but I'll either watch the breakfast news or I'll watch the early afternoon or I'll sit down for an hour checking out the news sites um, on the internet and yeah, it worries me that those young people don't care what's happening. I also begged my son um, and my daughters not to join up to any of the armed forces. I appreciate so much those who do 
and I have the utmost respect, but I'm so worried that we're going to end up going to war. And um, I know it's wrong, but I don't want my kids going to war. That's like my biggest fear. I'm loving that though, that teal is just working for it. And I do, of course, have the embroiderer's felt on underneath my project. Which just gives it that little bit more oomph that it needs. Yeah, I'm loving, I'm with you. Um, it's and it's it's just looking that little bit yeah like you know, less tragic not that I don't appreciate a good black lace bra but I think this almost modernizes it a little bit as well But no, the other thing that I was happy with on the cruise, I didn't even have to throw anybody overboard. Um, I sent, um, we, we had a lot of cruise credit because of the COVID thing. Um, so each of the kids was allowed sort of up to $100 to spend. And the, and one of the things that they, um, that two of them wanted to do was try snorkeling. So I ended up sending my father and my two nieces um, and my sister wasn't thrilled that I'd send a 78 year old man out snorkeling. Um, but um, they had a fabulous time. Miss Tash fell in love with a bag, with a, with a wallet, a guess wallet.
Oh, loving that. There we go. He's off. Thank you for joining us, Gary. I'm very happy with how that's going to So the outside here is, um, sorry, the straps that it's stitching. They are decorative and they're really just um, 
little diamonds. But again, I wanted it to look like that bra. We've only got another three colors to go so I think I'm going to use the teal for some of the wording just because it's so beautiful There is such a zen. I could almost fall asleep here. Very cute actually, a little hot fix crystal in the middle there, or a hot fix pearl, or that would really bling it up, you're absolutely right. <coughs> I'm just thinking of how I can use some of my mesh to make prettier lingerie bags. We just have to get the bra designers to come through and make those for all the sizes. I 
I can remember my my sister's older than I am, so she was the first one to get a bra. Um, and you know, in like we're talking back in the early mid eighties, it wasn't. You know, you there's no way you wanted to admit that you know that you were growing boobs. Um, and I can remember my mum being incredibly frustrated, taking Leanne for a training bra, and she didn't even want anything because the little ones that were there, like the training bra ones that were there, had either a little heart or a bow on the front of them, and and she refused any of that to the point of my mother bought her the one that fitted best and then cut the um, the little you know love heart off or whatever um, or the bow off and and I, I can still remember mum coming home and you know just being frustrated um, and then you know when she was in her late teens and everything was lacy yeah that you know oh now you're gonna do this now you're gonna <laughs> so you know and once again proving that we're never happy with what we got if we've got small boobs we want big boobs if we've got big boobs we want small boobs I'm liking that though, that is just so pretty. And I think finishing off with that supportive in the same colour is a good thing. So I'm going to find some fabrics this afternoon. I'm going to have to hunt around to find something that really goes with this and turn it into a little wall hanging. And then I am thinking that it might be something that I'm going to... Um, put an offer out there for anybody who um, who would like it or who has somebody who's going through that through cancer at the moment in their life so if you have somebody who's going through um, a terrible time and you'd like to gift them this um, the only thing I ask is please and it's not that we don't love our um, um, our stitches from outside of Australia but just for postage if it could be um, from somebody inside Australia so I'm not spending you know forty odd dollars to post it to you
and then I think I'm going to finish it off with this orange and purple. So all the hard work's over now. There's only two colours to go. Oops. Been too long since I've threaded a dime machine. And when I re-show this on Friday, I might even do it in black just for something different. Thursday, sorry. with her computer are you meaning these designs here the um the bra bra embroidered ones will remain up here on locking stitches the candle wicks will start disappearing one by one over the next couple of days <clears throat> And Christine, I'm so pleased you're looking you're well enough to be watching us again. I'm that absolutely thrills me. And as I said with the initial post of these machines, I do ask that you don't share them. I mean, hell, I ask that all the time anyway. But um, 
you know, they're there for free. Ask your friend or tell your whoever's asking for the designs from you to join up to our group. So have any of you ever used your software to take smaller designs and lay them out? Or is that something new that I've I've sort of shown you today? my digitizer software is you can actually come through and it has a multi-hooping option which allows you to choose how many hoopings you want to do. And you say what size hoop you're using. Software did I use? The first part I was using my Horizon Link software, which is the free software that comes with my Genome machine. You could do the exact same thing in, um, and I mean, I've just shown you how I've done it in Digitizer. You could also do it in Embird. I know FAF have their own version. Um, and Morgan says she doesn't have any digitizing software yet. Uh, what machine have you got, Anne? Sorry, Anne Morgan Coleman. I... Embird Editor, you can <coughs> Okay, so I can set size for um Okay, so Anne Morgan's got the Genomic Tooth in 
Does that not come with um, embroidery and shop? And sorry, it's been so long, I wasn't planning on doing this, which is why I'm sitting here trying to work out which button to press. I'm just going to pop on the last colourway. And then I'll come back. And look, if you're looking for a cost effective way to get started, um, Embird I think costs around $120. It's been a while since I bought it, so I cannot guarantee that. But from memory, and will allow you to do things. Okay, so Christine's got artistic. And absolutely, I know that I have to new And the reason this is bugging me is because I know I've done this before in um, in this software. Okay. So let's see how we do here. And what I've done is I've just come in and choo I'm choosing to merge a design. So let's see. Okay, so bra. And I might have to study this one a little bit more and do it for you guys on Thursday night. Just so that I can show you exactly what you should be doing. But I know it's the merge option and I know it's the workspace. And it's working out how I do both of those together. Um, oh, and look, and Morgan Coleman, the, the Hatch software is fantastic. The Hatch is exactly the same as what I work on. Um, it's it, because it's made by the same people as my Genomi digitizer. It's, but it's probably a little bit more than what you need. And I will come through and just check for you. Um, what Embird is now going for. And you can get the demo version for 30 days and then There you go, 163 US dollars. Um, 
don't stress about that bundle until you start digitizing or something you really don't need to add that in so that bundle is more than um, that you know start the free demo and then that will absolutely get you started okay let's see how we're doing And look, there are, other, there are other ones there as well. Um, I've used Buzz for file conversion, but I've never used Buzz for anything else. But share with us, guys, if you've got a favourite software. Um, Michelle, I know you love the... Um, um, the Premier Plus, I think you you use. So Michelle uses Premier Plus 2 Ultra um, and that's it there are there are options at absolutely every price point now I have actually worked out what I should have been doing and what I needed to do was come through and um, select my hoop size and you can make your own hoop size if you wish. Um, but, so when I first did this, I did it on my PR 10, 1000 jumbo frame. And I came in and I had that overlapping. And then I would come through and add in all of the excess. designs now I know you can lay this out as well and that's what I'm going to focus on finding out for you um, this week so that I can um, so that I can share that with you And I'll do that on Thursday night. Last little bit. Now, of course, never do what I'm doing. Oops, that's good. My arm was in the way you couldn't see. Because I can see where the next stitching is going to go, I know that that's not going to go near that and run over my finger again. But yes, as always, do as I say, not as I do. Now, on the dumbest things that we do as women, I'm getting a skip bin in this weekend. And I'm about to go through 
clothing, etc., and so forth. Am I the only person who will go into a shop like and quickly grab a bra? Now, it won't be a $90 bra, but, you know, just a, you know, oh, yeah, that should work. When you get home and it doesn't fit, for some stupid reason, I throw it in the drawer still. I'm not sure what I think is going to change, but is there anybody else who does anything similar to that? It would make me feel better if I wasn't the only person. Only two words to go now. I'm not the only person and one of the joys of um, losing weight this year is that those clothes that I bought that didn't fit um, now fit so I can throw the others out yeah I'm kind of with you though I'm you know when I find a brand of bra that I like I'll go and mail order and But yes, I was cleaning out, um, I'm thinking of cleaning out the, um, the underwear drawer and yeah, it's just depressing when you realise just how much money we waste. Lorraine's been there and done that as well. Good to know that I'm not the only person. <clears throat> and Robin Jones is here as well. Hi Robin, how's your day going? Last two letters now.
Okay. And ta-da. So let's come over and see what the entire project looks like. I'll take my hoop off and just raise that up. And what we've got there is a really nice, I think, wall hanging. I'm very happy with how that is looking. So this afternoon, I'm going to put a border on that. I just need to go through my fabrics first and find one that I like. But as I said, if you, if any of you have a friend who is um, fighting through this disease at the moment um, and you think this might make them laugh, let me know and I'd love to send it to you to give to them. Okay. So what do we think? Is that something you can see yourself doing? I am loving um, how that's turned out. I can't wait to send you photos of the finished product. Um, <clears throat> as always, we will do another project on Thursday night using this. Um, so please do join us then. 